Hey Summers! Hi everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a Sims 4 speed build. This is going to be for a wedding venue because in our Sims 4 Let's Play focusing on the Eden family, there's gonna be a wedding! Yay! Congratulations to Maya and Dylan! <laughs> so you started off by just getting straight in with... So you've got one big room and you've built a big outside Yeah. So the, I the idea behind this wedding venue is it's kind of like a barn wedding. Barn weddings are really trendy right now. We went to one recently and it's just like, you know, a farm or something like that it converts a barn and outdoor space into a really romantic setting for a wedding. So I kind of took inspiration from that. Also because a barn wedding is kind of like as much complexity as I could potentially, <laughs> as I could, like, I'm still really new at building in Sims 4. And um, I didn't think that I could do something terribly complicated, so a barn wedding was like simple enough that I could do it. And also because weddings in this game, like they're so goal oriented, and like we know from experience that an actual wedding, you're not going to be able to really enjoy the space because you're going to be so focused on getting all the goals done. So you know, I didn't want to go too complicated because like we probably wouldn't be able to enjoy it that much anyway. I think the, the <laughs> other advantages, apart from all your apologizing, is that I also just think that if it was a big complicated building, you'd lose the Sims. Like, yeah, we'd yeah. lose them to find them, but I think to actually see what everyone's doing and enjoy the wedding, we couldn't see it. But I think having a very open plan style, and obviously a lot of this is outside, mm. I think it's just going to be much easier for us and all of you guys watching to actually see what's going on okay. during the wedding. So we have a big That's outdoor a good reason. <laughs> area here, and now you're dividing up the sort of big... Yeah. Well, I guess the entrance or the main entry hall to the place into a bunch of little rooms. Yeah, so the entry hall is going to consist of like a bridal room for the bride to get ready, a groom's room for the groom to get ready, a couple of bathrooms for the guests, and also a kitchen so that, you know, stuff for the wedding guests like food and whatnot can be prepared. Yep. So that's basically what's going on here. And then the inside of this is just going to be completely open to the air so that like we said, it's easy to find sims, it's easy for sims to move around and get to where they need to go. Yes, yeah, so this area on the... Yeah, sort of through area is open to the elements, it's mm -hmm. kind of... walls have been knocked down and you've made it look like a sort of a big barn door just by putting pillars yeah. on either side and a... Um, what's that thing called across the top? Spandrel. Spandrel, <laughs> I knew. Yeah. The word I've learned from playing Sims 4. It's basically what you see here and my building and decorating, it's all over the place. Like, I don't like I've said before in another speed build video, when I kind of get bored or stuck on one room, I'll quickly move on to another room just because, you know, I, yeah, I'm not very organized about it. It's not like I spend all my time on one room before moving on to another room. I just kind of like go back and forth. So you see now I'm switched to the outside. This is where I want to have like the dining space for the guests. So lots of tables for them to sit around and I'm just kind of fiddling around with them how things are gonna yeah, fit. This is a nice pattern. I think you stick with this pattern, don't you? Uh, no, there's gonna be some changes in movement around, so okay. yeah. But with the angles, yeah. I think it's nice to have the angles. And also, this wedding is gonna be for what, 18 guests plus the happy couple and the officiant or whatever, so not a huge wedding, but well, I'm also on I'm, a normal sized lot in Sims 4, you can't fit in like 150 people. Exactly, there is a sim limit for the number of sims you can visit a lot. I'm actually not sure what it is, but yeah, I just assumed that we weren't going to be able to invite tons and tons of people over. So as you can see, yeah, I'm adding a little extension onto this deck here, so that kind of gives more room for the dining tables, and I'm putting the... I think I'm going to be putting the head table, so the table where the brides and bride and groom's family and closest people get to sit, and then the other tables are arranged, you know, sort of in front of it. Yeah, that makes sense. I think, yeah, I like how... The shape is sort of shifted a bit. It's got a little bit more asymmetry to it. It's not before. It's like it's not an as L. boring. <laughs> no, I think it's nice. And also now you can imagine people moving through the space as well. Particularly yeah. here, as you added these stairs, these little stairs from the deck. Yeah, from the deck down onto the lawn, so people can come through the front, have the wedding, come out here for a drink or just to talk to people, or maybe that's where they have the photos taken. They're going to have a dance floor here. Actually, you're going to see a dance floor in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> So at the time of this recording, the Romantic Gardens stuff pack has just come out. I decided that we weren't going to buy it just because 
I I have well I have a lot of objections in um well yeah <laughs> basically the fact is there are tons and tons of packs that come out for Sims 4 and they're all priced at like minimum ten dollars and I just you know we spend enough money on this game and on games in general and yeah. Yeah, if, you also, guys, yeah. if you guys have ever watched the Lazy Game Reviews channel, I think he feels the same way about it, we feel the same way about it, just, you know, there are some things that we just feel aren't worth the money at this point. We mm. have recently bought Spa Day because it was on sale, and as you can see to the right of the screen, there is one of the spa buildings that came with Spa Day, so we will feature some of that in a future episode of our Eden Let's Play. But after having spent money on Spa Day, it just didn't seem like it was worth it to spend money on Romantic Gardens, even though possibly we could have gotten a lot out of it for this wedding venue. Yeah. But, I think we've got to be restrained because yeah, because you could <laughs> uh, we can't just spend, buy everything. Yeah, exactly. Time. You yeah. could easily spend just way too much money on this one game. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so you put the roof on while we've been gossiping about yeah. <laughs> Sims 4 expansion packs. And yeah, you just pull the roof over the outside area and it just turns that into a, a, a roof, a covered area. Yeah, I thought really that cool. covered area for the dinner tables was a good idea, but then leaving the actual uh, space where they get married uncovered, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, it also means that if this were to be used for future weddings in the future, that if it rained one day, mm -hmm. then you could always m rearrange things and have the wedding Yeah, if they ever introduced covered, seasons yeah. <laughs> and things like that into yeah. the game, speaking of, you know, things that are worth it, uh, yeah. then hopefully this could one day oh, be useful. Know. When it, when it rains or there's a storm in Minecraft, I'm like, ugh, oh, I now can't see anything and it's dark. And It's cool to see the lightning, though. Storms are good. Yeah. The rest of it, not so much. So, yeah, I'm just decorating the bridal suite here, and the bridal suite, by the way, has a private bathroom so that you know she can shower and all that and the groom's suite also has a private bathroom the groom's is on the right and the bride's here is what what i'm messing with on the left yeah the, the bride's one is obviously the more important one so yes. i really spend more time on that as a groom i didn't get a groom's room <laughs> but i think brides always get a bridal room which is fine yeah i think i did put something in in the bridal room like a bag or something <laughs> oh, you mean when we got married yeah yeah, 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 your, yeah. your bridal room yeah yeah So yeah, this is me just messing around with the yeah, like that wood. Ex yeah exterior wall stuff. Not uh, really sure what one. I wanted. <laughs> yeah, the thing about a wedding venue is like, I think um, you know just traditionally it's nicer to have go with like lighter colors and pastels and things like that. I thought about going with pink and white, but then I just ended up thinking that blue and white was more kind of uh, my style for this thing. So that's basically what the color scheme yeah. is going to be: blue and white. Yeah, and I think yeah having the vertical wooden slats or whatever mm -hmm. makes sense for barn style yeah i think that probably given the lighting is always a little bit muted in sims 4 it makes sense to go with a very light color mm -hmm. in real life these may be white i think the one we went to was like you know barn color like wood colors yeah and it made sense because it was a really lovely sunny summer day but it's a bit hard to get that kind of vibrancy off wood colors in yeah. sims 4 because the lighting engine as you said is so dark <laughs> yeah okay so we're doing the Wow, you're decorating from like a bird's eye view up there. <laughs> this is just decorating I from just, a mile high. On that's the crest. how I just do it, like naturally. I don't know. I mean, I am still like really bad at controlling the camera, and you know, sometimes I just need enough kind of perspective, and you need that. I need to be far enough away to have enough of a view of what's going on. I like my lights to be centered, and sometimes you need to be really high up and overhead to see make sure that the lights are centered in the right place yeah. and things like that so and you put lights over the eating area too i think yes yeah because it's under a roof so mm -hmm. i want to make sure exactly. that there's enough illumination yeah so just going for a very simple decorating scheme because i was also conscious of the fact that i was recording this for a speed build so i didn't want to like spend tons of time picking out wallpaper and windows and all that kind of thing i just wanted to like get on with it uh, we will 
Like with most of our builds, we will put this on the community gallery at some point and I might have some changes. I think we should just wait till after the wedding has happened because then we can actually see how does it work yeah, for definitely. the wedding and then... Well, like most of our builds, we always, you know, we put the video up and then we're like, well, we're gonna take a bit of time to test the property and make sure that there aren't any mistakes in it. And we have found plenty of mistakes and sometimes even yeah. after we put them on the gallery, we found mistakes. And like I said, we're, just, we're still new at this. We wanna make sure that whatever we share with the community is as good as possible. So eventually okay, we will so put it up. Here you're thinking about, oh no, okay. Yeah. I thought like, are you gonna do a second floor? No, 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 just, yeah, I need stairs. Putting so. the stairs in, yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could do a double wide hedge thing. Yeah. But those look nice. Yeah, and just all very like wood. I think the touches with the plants work well too. Yeah, I think there will be some changes to the plants here. I'm just this is just me like playing around and trying to make things pretty and decorative because obviously if it's a wedding venue, there needs to be lots of flowers and stuff mm -hmm. around. Yeah, I think the ones you've got the planters on the floor, I think work really well for a barn style. I don't know if they're going to stay or not. Yeah. The window ones, yeah, they look pretty, but are fine. But I think the the slatted little ones at the front, which you just deleted. <laughs> <laughs> they sort of feel very barn-like, you know? There will be, as I said, some changes later in the video. I'm going to do a kind of very quick tour of the finished version, and you'll see even with the finished version, there are some changes from okay. what I actually show in the building process. But you're, you're taking a break from the plants and now moving the whole lot. Around. <laughs> <laughs> moving the whole lot, putting the dance floor in. I'd I told to you I'm very disorganized. Plant. Yeah. I'm also like, yeah, I've kind of say this room makes sense in and of itself, but the thing is it doesn't make entire sense unless I know how it fits in relation to the next room. Yes. So then you have to go, okay, well this is okay for now, but then I have to do, you know, room number two, and then I can go back and finish room number one in light of room number two. Exactly. And it, we've talked about this before in our building videos, but like the way that we build in Sims 4 is from the inside out. And I think that's because we started out as Sims free play players, where you have to build it room by room. Like you can't focus on the outside in Sims free play. And so it's still really, weird in some ways to me to build in Sims 4 from the outside, which I know a lot of people do themselves. I mean, I think I do that in Sims Free Play as well, because like, oh, I want to make a cool structure. Oh, okay. But the sacrifices then, it's like, I now have to just make everything fit. It's yeah, only in Sims make Free Play when it's sense. like, there's no, it's so hard to redo it. Then it's like, okay, I've now just got to make this work. <laughs> yeah, in Sims 4 so far, you've done a lot more building than me. I haven't done... I don't one that was solely outside, but I don't even know if it would work giving it an inside yet. So <laughs> that's why it's taken me so long to finish that build. I just, I don't understand that style of building yet. But I mean, I think this, this what I end up with then generally is like really boring outside, you know, exteriors of the buildings because I focus so much on making the rooms make sense. And so I need to figure out like a good way to blend the two styles of building. No, I think you've done some very interesting shaped builds. Even like your very first ones had some good, interesting lines. And think of like your well, um, turn of the century mansion. But we see lots of builders on yeah. YouTube, and you know they're all very inspiring and. Just yeah, no, I think that that goes without saying. Like there are some amazing builders. <laughs> we do not profess to be amazing like <laughs> they are, but you know I still think you've made some nice stuff. Oh, thanks. And same to you. You should keep building. <laughs> I know. I know. Ugh, terrain paint and landscaping. I like that effect so, of having like, yeah. kind of like uh, trodden on grass around the yeah around the uh, benches. That makes sense. It definitely keeps it realistic, uh -huh. but you know it takes a light touch. I think. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, it's funny having a in Sims Four. You can obviously see how your house fits mm -hmm. in re in the rest of the street. A, a barn wedding venue in the middle of the high street. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is it's a bit out of place. This is, by the way, <laughs> this is in Newcrest. I, you know, we're not necessarily going to keep this in the town. I just thought yeah, it yeah. was. There are tons of empty lots. I needed like there were four buildings that came with the spa day pack, and so I needed like an empty stretch of space. Yeah. So we've got like all the spa day buildings in a row. And then we spent like an hour or something just going through all four of them, just looking at them together. Because they're so beautiful. They're so, they're so well designed. They're so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. so much we can learn from that 
yeah, I think I need to look at them several more times to kind of understand what they did. Absolutely, yeah. So anyway, I just figured that the wedding venue just made sense to put next to the、um, the spa stuff because、mm-hmm. the spa stuff will feature in a wedding themed episode. Yeah,、so. you can also go and get all your spa needs taken care of, and、mm-hmm. then go and get married. Exactly. Seems like a nice start to the day. <laughs> so I want to ask about the dance floor here. Is this that glass? Yes. So that means that theoretically, if you had a basement below, you'd be able to see. Yes. Okay.、But、you can still just put it on ground. Clearly. Apparently, because I did. Yeah, yeah. and、so、it's, you, it is also enlarged. So I use like、uh, BB、oh, yeah, Move yeah, objects yeah. or one of those cheats to enlarge、yeah. it and make it bigger. Yeah, I do the BB Move objects for plants. I think you did as well. So you can have overlapping plants. Yes. So that gives a nice textured effect. Yeah. Yeah. So you made it nighttime to see what it looks like at night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because、That's、I figure the wedding will go into the night, so I wanted to make、mm-hmm. sure it looks lovely at night as well. So just putting a Experimenting with rugs to have like the aisle and、yeah. the actual wedding stage, you know, be、uh, be clear. But you've、I'm、gone just... for like, obviously very light color. Yeah. What other color would you have? I don't know. Uh, maybe like a red or pink or something yeah, like that. But、yeah. again, I just wanted to go for pale colors. Yeah, because our wedding was outside, but we had grass. I think was the... <laughs> <laughs> we had we had seats on the grass and stuff on the grass. Yeah. Yeah, and doing this technique, which some people yeah, do was... amazing things with that. Well, I think the、uh, it wasn't centered correctly for、oh, that to right, have made so, sense. Yeah, okay. This is ta- we're talking about the、um, floor tiling. Yeah, doing things like、uh, sort of half square on a diagonal or something, or、yeah. quarter square. So I just decided to go with rugs instead because they could be centered more easily than the floor effect. Yeah, one thing I think about that dance area is the DJ booth.、Mm-hmm. Like I think that's the coolest. I don't think there's like a more just sedate style. Like there are. Are there? Yeah, there are like three different styles of DJ booth, but I went with that one because it's a paler color. Oh、so. uh, right, I don't think any of them look particularly. Like they're all quite bold.、Mm-hmm. They don't have one that just kind of looks like it fits <laughs> in for a wedding. <laughs> okay, so we got more planting going on. Yeah, you had the idea that I should just add some seats out here for guests to just like chill out in. So、yeah. I'm actually going to change these benches later. I was thinking I would go for a you know the white and blue theme again, but I think the style of these benches didn't quite match, so I'm going to、mm-hmm. change them out later. And yeah, balloons. Yeah, it's a little bit back porch kind of feel. Yeah, so already it's looking pretty feature complete. Yeah, it's definitely coming together. Again, just there, <laughs> so many plant options to choose from.、So. <laughs> yeah, I think plants probably take almost the longest to place. Like for、mm-hmm. each item of plant <laughs> that you put, it takes a long time because there are lots of different types and they have different fields. And you don't, you can't know by looking at them in the gallery bit how big they're going to be. Well, I think we just sort of need more practice building. There are so many options to choose from, and if we knew them better, like you know, had them sort of memorized better, then we would,、uh, yeah, we'd do better at. So anyway, I'm just adding some of these like gift boxes and trees, which came from the free holiday pack. Just figure they look nice. Experimenting with centerpieces for、uh, the tables. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You can't put like plates down, can you? That's only after somebody's gone done cooking. Yeah. Placemats or something would be cute, but I think those, yeah, those look nice actually. No, change I, no, <laughs> no. Because they were a little, I don't know, they were a little weird. They weren't quite festive enough for you know、um, what I was going for. So I think I even ended up changing those out. Yeah, I went for these because they're actually like flowers, you know. Yeah. Okay. Flowers make sense. Yeah. Yeah, I really like those lit up trees. Mm-hmm. They just make the whole property look really festive,、yeah. and you can... I think you've also got some floor lights. Have you by the park benches out by the front? Yes. Awesome. Yeah, those work. Those work really well. 
the I just know when we actually do the wedding though people I mean it's good it's going to be hard to lose people because it's so open yeah. but I think people are just going to be all over the place yeah you think like oh there's a bridal room and surely the bride's going to want to hang out in there no no <laughs> you're going to have like I don't know you're going to have clone Shelley weeping in there or something or well, weeping in there makes sense <laughs> you're going to have somebody doing something silly in a room that we didn't expect yeah yeah, you're going to have, like, Bond making herself a sandwich in the kitchen. Exactly. <laughs> it's Basically, like, it's a wedding. if you get a whole bunch of Sims <laughs> in one location, you just can't control what they do. Because yeah. and... the the first wedding I had, which was um, Bess and Bella. Bella Goth, in the Goth mansion, and we kind of got things set up, and we sort of put a piano in there, and then we invited everyone around, and it was just complete chaos. <laughs> It's like one of the guests went to bed in the bride's bedroom, yep. <laughs> like in the middle of the party. No, and like they had to eat a wedding cake. No, nope. so by that yeah. point, like Bella decided to go for a swim or to the bathroom <laughs> or something. It's like, oh, she went for a bath. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? So I do think it's good not having. There's obviously but toilets, but there's no shower or bath is good. No, no there, are, com- there are there are showers. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, because the, for the bride. Yeah. And yeah. the groom. There's no computer, at least, because <laughs> otherwise every sim queue up to use the computer. But this is actually an important point. So, in order to have a wedding venue, apparently it needs to be either at a house or in a park. If it's in a house, like we've already seen with the B and B, the bed and breakfast that we did, like there are some weird, funky things that can go on if it's a house. So I decided to make this venue a park. And in order for it to be considered a park, you need to have a certain number of actual objects like there's a checklist of objects that you need to put in the game to make it a park right. and that includes random stuff like a jungle gym for kids and a chess table and like I don't want any of that stuff in the middle of my wedding venue so later I ended up creating a basement and a sub basement in order to fit all that stuff in but just keep it out of the way uh yeah really <laughs> yeah so, um, Are we going to see you do that here? I don't know. No, I ended up doing it later because it wasn't, you know, letting me consider it a park or a completed park. Mm. So I added that stuff later. So literally, yeah. there's no stairs to get to the basement. Exactly. Basement. You just got a really big room, mm-hmm. a big empty room you just put in yeah. the jungle gym. I actually needed to make two basements because one of the jungle gyms was, or the jungle gyms are too big. Oh, uh, so to... you had to do a double high room. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Oh, I, I think it might be done, actually. Yeah, this is the sort of you know, tour of the finished version, or as finished as it will be for this video. And uh, you can see, I yeah. I think it looks pretty. I don't, yeah, you put the piano in, I don't know where you put that in. But you're, <laughs> we need a piano to play mm-hmm. for both when they walk down the aisle. Mm-hmm. I think it looks really nice. I think the light, well, light pastel colours are what Sims 4 does very well. But I think it works very nicely. I think it's fine having that long corridor that kind of open leading out into the back. It does draw you, sort of as soon as you come in, you just naturally, you're not going to stay in that corridor, you're going to walk to the back mm. to enjoy the outside and see the beautiful setting for the wedding and then the dance floor. I mean, watch in our Let's Play episode, they'll probably get married on the dance floor because like, uh, yeah. you know, I, they're No just one crazy. will be sitting in those chairs <laughs> when they get married and they'll suddenly be like, oh, they're married. Yeah. <laughs> and I like those tables down at the back we just scrolled away. You've got five or six of these little round tables. Yeah, I just scattered them around because I figured guests could like put their drinks on them and yeah, stand around and enjoy the yeah, atmosphere. Exactly. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this speed build. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And in the meantime, stay tuned for the actual wedding event. Hopefully it'll go relatively as planned. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.